I want to minister to a topic I titled, It is Possible. The miracle that you are believing God, that you are going to church for, that you are praying for, you are fasting for, I have come this very moment to declare to you that they are all possible. Every possibilities that surround your expectation, that is working around you, that is affecting your faith and affecting your life, hear me this very moment. All of them are going to disappear because that which you think is a problem, that which you think is impossible, I come to tell you this very moment, it is possible. Yeah. Healing the sick is possible. Casting out devil is possible. Amen. Prophesying is possible. Amen. Speaking in tongues is possible. Amen. Interpreting tongues is possible. Amen. Designing people's heart is possible. Amen. Controlling the spirituality around you is possible. Amen. And dominating physically around you is also possible. Amen. All those things you see people do. You now say that man is a man of God, is a great man of God. All of us, as Bible said, are ministers of God. All of us, as Bible said, are disciples of God. That which you see me do, that which you see them do, you can also do it. It is possible. The power to receive miracle and the power to do miracle is called fit. There is no different power. That you're going to receive from God to do miracle. The power to receive miracle and power to do miracle is faith. You might think of what about anointing? Because faith is not anointing. I want to clear you. You can be highly anointed if you don't have faith. That anointing will be useless with you. We have many anointed people who are in there sleeping. Because they don't have faith to exhibit what they carry. So they are not anointed, but things are impossible to them because they don't have faith. There are many kingdoms that are operating negatively against you. They are not scared of the identity you carry as born again. They are only scared and driven away by your feet. So if you even pray because people are praying and you don't believe what you say, you are wasting your time. Because there are many people who pray very well, but yet they cannot manifest anything because they are lacking faith. That you will fulfill your destiny, it is possible if you have faith. That tomorrow will be better, it is possible if you have faith. With God, all things are possible. Very correct. But Mark chapter 9, verse 23, have completed that statement. All things are possible to them that have faith. That's why he said in Mark 16, 17, he said, These signs shall follow them that have faith. In my name they shall cast out devils. Speak with a new tongue. Pick up deadly things. Drink poison. Pick up serpent. It shall not hurt them. Lay hand on the sick and the sick shall. So it is not being a member that will give you the option to cast out devil. It is the level of your faith that displays the demon in people. Bible said everything that a man is looking for is not possible with that man. But that everything is possible with God to them that have. So faith have taken the place of everything that you can think of. Faith will help you to manifest miracle and help you to receive miracle. So if you pray without faith, you will not receive. If you fast without faith, nothing will. But if you have faith, it becomes your license to have every other thing. Just believe and God will make it happen. As a matter of fact, it is only your faith that moves God. 
I'll say it with a number. Your money does not move God. Have you seen people? That is why sometimes you see me, I have not have time to preach about sowing seed. I didn't say it's bad. If you want to sow, I believe it is willing. You are the one that God will touch. You now say, no, I want to sow to apostle. You will sow to apostle and God will do what? Reward you. Okay? Whosoever that sow to the prophet will receive the prophet reward. So said the Bible. But it is not a topic to preach. You know why? I just know that since God has been using me, God has been using me by my faith that I have in that very God. Not because I give any pastor money. I did not give God any money to manifest any gift. So that is why I don't have time to preach to you that you must give God money before God will give you miracle. It is your faith that will give you miracle. It is my faith that will make your miracle to do what? To manifest. So if you have ever come to me, you now say, because I heard that Paul, so God is using him. My dear, when you are coming, please prepare, package your faith. Come with your faith, because I am not going to do anything without faith. What I am doing, what our God has using me to do, he is using me to do it because I believe he can do it, and I believe my God can save you. That is why you see the manifestation you are seeing. Anytime I come here, something new will do what? Anytime I come here, because I have this faith that the God I serve, is able, capable to do whatever that he want to do. If nothing happened, it means he did not want to do. If you go to Luke chapter 8, verse 43 to 49, and the Bible said, bleeding illness of a woman that needed healing, that very healing that she needed was impossible to all the physicians in the world. But the healing became possible by her faith, not the faith of the pastor, not the faith of the anointed, not the faith of the people that he, she went to meet. He received that healing by the faith that she prepared for herself, that she built in her mind. And we call it ready-made faith. The Bible did not say she had met Jesus before. Neither have they preached to her. The Bible said she heard that the Messiah is coming to the city. And he made up her mind. He said, I've heard a lot of things that God has used him to do. He said, if I only can go and see him and touch his clothes, his garment, he said, I will be made. And immediately, if she finds her way to touch the hand of garment of Jesus Christ, behold, healing happened. It was impossible to all medical practitioners. It was impossible to all pharmacists. It was impossible to all medical lab and medical doctors. It was impossible to all gynae, to all pediatric, to all general practitioner. It was impossible to even chemists. It was impossible to witch doctors. It was impossible to herbalists. But it became possible by her faith. Not by Jesus' faith. The Bible did not say so. By her faith. So whatever you think, you don't know how to handle. First of all, handle yourself. Build up your faith. No man is God. But the faith that you build in your heart will totally become God over you and start to work for you. If you believe that the prayer you have prayed that God has answered, so be it. If you believe that you are here, don't change your mind, so be it. If you believe in your heart that tomorrow will be better, so be. Don't change your heart. I'll preach a topic here. Victory over doubt. I told you before that doubt is our problem. How many times have I told you your money moves pastor? Your faith moves God. It is only faith that moves God, not money. That you are a Christian does not make things to work. Because all things are possible with God to them that have. Your heart cannot accommodate faith and fear at the same time. Once you are afraid, you are afraid. Once you are bold, you are bold. But this very faith I'm talking about is different from being bold. It's when I'm being bold to talk. It's when I'm being bold to challenge anything. Uh -uh. This faith is faith that worketh and produce a manifest miracle. Help me tell yourself. Say myself. It is possible. My destiny is possible. My moving forward is possible. 
My becoming rich is possible. Having children is possible. Marrying a good husband is possible. Marrying a good wife is possible. Having peace is possible. Having joy is possible. Settling down is possible. Prospering is possible. Progressing aggressively is possible. Healing people is possible. Displacing demon is possible. Harassing the kingdom of devil. And they will not do anything. Is possible. Say neighbor. With God. All things are possible. To them that have faith. If I say that, put your hands together for Jesus.